Hola, everybody. It is I, your lord and savior Nero, and since, well, it's October, why not play some horror games? So today we are going to be messing around with Five Nights at Freddy's. So as you can clearly see, I yet to actually play this game, but I will say it's not going to be completely blind because I've seen pretty much everything there is about this game. Uh, I'm actually going to be playing this game a little bit different than usual. Usually I'm sitting over on my bed and, you know, I just got the volume turned down. But since this game has, you know, you have to rely on sound from time to time, I'm actually sitting like right up against the screen and got some earbuds in, so who knows. Uh, but I was hoping to have face cam for this, but unfortunately uh, I can't get that to work with the program that I have to use to record this. So, uh, if I do happen to get scared, uh, you're not going to see the reaction, sorry. But anywho, let's start. Uh, the game is going to begin with a long phone call, so I will shut up during any phone call segment. So I shall see you at, I believe, 2 a.m. I'm doing all this shit for 120 bucks, that's a... already happened. How do I... Hello? Hello? Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see, first there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. Uh, it's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing, those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children and we need to show them a little respect, right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too, but then there was the bite of 87. Yeah, it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth that pop out the front of the mask here. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. 
But hey, first day sea breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Got to conserve power. All right. Good night. Good night, friend. All right. So now we actually start the real game. So basically, uh, if you're the night watchman, you gotta watch over these guys and make sure they don't kill you. Uh, there's another one right here in Pirate Coup. Uh, but he usually doesn't show up until uh, the start of, or, you know, just any point uh, on the second night. You have to say, some of the the controls they got going for this is a tad bit different. I would have expected like the uh, the right button, the right mouse button, to be used to bring up your monitor. But now nah, you got to go down like that. Check. Oh, somebody's moving. The animatronics will <clears throat> only move when the camera's out. So one of them's moving right now. Now there's three animatronics. This one here is Bonnie, that's Freddy, and that's Chica. There's also Foxy, of course. Uh, he's the one that's in Pirate Cove, and Bonnie's the one that's out right now. Bonnie uh, always shows up here on the left side. <clears throat> Chica is here over on the right. So really, you just gotta check over here. Now let's see if we can find... Oh, <clears throat> there's Bonnie. So, still a distance away, not too bad. But yeah, basically the whole point of this game is to just survive the night. Now the fourth animatronic, Foxy, he can, uh... I think one of them's around. I can hear music playing. Now whenever, you know, I've only, the only experience I've had with this in general, up oh, there you are, is by watching other people do Let's Plays. Uh, the unfortunate with that is since it was always Let's Plays, uh, you're not going to be able to hear the audio as well as you would want to. So I never really got to hear that. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I was figuring, I was like, okay, he's got to be near me now. Alright, and he's currently outside there as well. Uh, Foxy is here in Pirate Cove. Uh, he usually won't show up. Um on the first night, but it's not impossible for him to not either, or to actually show up either. Alright, so Bonnie's gone. These buttons don't react as well as I would like them to. Let's figure out where Bonnie is real quick. Okay, Bonnie's back there again. That's good. Oh god, Chica's gone. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, usually Chica doesn't actually leave on the first night. So that's a bit surprising. And Bonnie's gotten a bit closer, but uh... Someone's definitely getting closer. Yeah, these buttons don't operate the way I would like them to, really. Okay, Bonnie's still in place. Okay, I guess that's Chica I'm hearing right now. She must be in the kitchen. 
Cause I'm not seeing Chica anywhere. I don't even know where Bonnie is now. That sucks! But okay, uh, one of the main things about this game is that you've got very, very limited power. So, I mean, you... Okay, there's Bonnie. Bonnie's getting closer. You got very limited power, so you gotta be very smart about your usage. Everything's gotta be quick and efficient. But, yes! <laughs> All right, I got through my first night. <clears throat> now, there is always the difference between uh, playing a game and watching a game. This game does have a bit more of a freak factor when you're playing it in comparison to watching it. Now, this is night two. I will shut up again, but I gotta start looking at the monitors and shit right away. And this is the night where you have to start worrying about uh, Foxy. Chica's out. Ah. Alright, so now I gotta survive night two. This is also the final night of uh, the demo if you decide to check that out. Alright, you're still there. There's Chica. Possible Chica's now in the kitchen. Don't quote me on that though. <laughs> now I believe like every hour's like a minute and a half or something like that. But when doing this game, definitely uh, it gets a lot creepier. Whew, just caught him. That's good. Oh god, I gotta remember these lights stay on for a bit. Alright, Bonnie's still out there. Let's see if we can find where Chica is. Okay, she's still cam 7. Okay, Chica's gone. That's good. Or Chica. Bonnie's gone. And that dump -a dump 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 that you heard, if you can actually hear that. Uh, that's, um... Oh, okay, there you are. That's cool. The dump 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 and all that is... Okay. Oh, didn't want to hit that down there again. That's, uh, Foxy from Pirate Code. Everyone's a bit further away, so that's cool. Now, while Bonnie appears in the door there, uh, Chica actually appears in the window. 
So those are the two things you want to keep an eye on when it comes to the light, or using the lights. Mm -hmm. Oop, Chica's right next to me. I need to keep an eye over there, but also uh, Chica's much less aggressive than uh, Bonnie. And I get both of them at the same fucking time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I actually did get a bit of a jump there, I'll admit. Oh, man. At least Freddy's not active until uh, night three. Jesus, will you guys go away? Both of them are just just sitting there like, hey buddy, what you doing? How's it going? Let's see. <sighs> Fire cove still good, Freddy's still there. <clears throat> Okay, Bonnie's gone, so lift that up. <clears throat> Go away, Chica! You're pissing me off. You're wasting my power. A lot of it! Jesus! Aw, oh, damn it. Fuck, I'm not gonna get it, so. Okay, people, jump scare. Fucking Bonnie got aggressive! Actually, no, I'd say it was Chica. Chica's the one that really fucked me over there. But yeah, if you die, you get stuffed in the suit. The only things to see the light of day afterwards being your eyes, which are blue, and your teeth. <laughs>